Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not turn on the sound. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Hi, welcome to day five of the stream. Uh, thank you for letting me know welcome that I did not turn on the microphone. Yeah, welcome to day five of the stream. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm Christian, and we are doing a no, not the schmuck uh, shapes. Uh, and I'm today I'm late. Uh, I'm working on this uh, on this little little game in Pico 8 about solitaire, basically kind of like dream shape solitaire. And today I'm late. There's a lot of stuff happening in my life. I decided to do this at a time that is quite inconvenient. <laughs> but I thought things will, you know, work out somehow <laughs> and they resist. They resist, uh, resist my attempts to make them work. Uh, so I had some office stuff to do today and um, sadly today probably um, it's not going to be, there's not going to be an evening stream. Uh, I might make, make one work, but there's just stuff happening in the evening and also Endor. <laughs> It's just, I'm just the kind of guy who just needs to watch Ender because it's a great TV series. And I'm looking forward to watching the new episode today. Uh, but now I'm looking forward to something else. So as you can see, um, if you've been uh, tuning in yesterday, let me turn down the volume. Uh, we have created like this, this cool halo effect. And it looks a bit funky because we see the shadow, but it's kind of like weird right now. But yeah, we kind of like can drag stuff in here. And um, and we have like this weird halo that we can somehow control with the mouse. And so the goal for today is going to be making sure that this is less janky. <laughs> uh, kind of like figuring out how the halo works, the, the halo mechanics. Yeah, it looks nice and smooth, right? I don't, I don't quite like how it's attached to the mouse. I mean, it's, it's cool that you can control it just to see the curvature. That's, that's nice. So I want to maybe keep that interactivity because I like the interactivity of it. Uh, but something I don't like is how it looks so, so hectic. So maybe we tone it down somehow. Uh, also, we were thinking about, you know, if you're dragging stuff around here at the top, then the halo doesn't react. It just like slowly rotates all the time, something like this. And there's another thing that I've been like thinking about uh, while I went to bed. Um, the mechanics so far are not quite the way they're supposed to work, not quite the, the way it was intended initially. Right now, you can drag stuff in here, right? You can start building your, your halo, right? Maybe I can show you what I mean about how they're supposed to go in a second here. Oh, I think we got it. Okay, see, this is now, observe, observe my, st my students, this is now a six card sequence, right? Uh, and so if you, if you see like the orange piece sh could technically connect with the, with the blue piece. And that was kind of like the idea of the mechanic of the halo initially, that you can like, if you create a loop, then the loop disappears. But the way it works visually and conceptually right now, you can just keep building the loop until all of the pieces are in the loop, which is also fine, which is also cool, um, but not quite what I intended. And I feel like this is a bit easier now than what I intended, I think. Um, so yeah, as you can see now, this should have been, this loop should have been closed and that should have been the end of it, but it's not. Um, so there's like two things that I want to implement my original idea and see how that works first. Um, but you can see the problem, like this, this strip is not very long, right? This is not a very long halo and it's not enough pieces to create like the entire um, halo around, around the head. So probably what I have to do in this kind of situation is I want to have like a duplicate, so I have like two halo, two, two copies of the same thing circling around the head, just so it's like visually, it, it resembles more of the, of the ring, or maybe like three. Um, yeah. um, and so what I want to have 
in ideally what I want to have is like when there's just one piece left, when there's just one piece missing. <laughs> I don't know Vinish team, yeah, that's right. Um, if there's one piece left missing to complete the loop, I want to see that gap. I want to like visually sh show one end of the loop and the other end of the loop and it's like, ah, oh, you need to find a piece that fits in here, right? Because right now you don't really see that. You don't really see that you created a loop. To kind of like visualize the idea that we're creating a loop. Um, and yeah. So that's, that's going to be the goal for today. Another thing that I want to be also doing is I want to take care of the vertical placement. Um, because right now, if you start doing stuff here, right? If you start building your things, oops. <laughs> okay, accidentally put it. You see how how the this stuff encroaches on the halo space? Hey, Oskiwa. Um, yeah, the, the, the cards encroach on the halo space and I want to, so I want to kind of attach like I want to move the um, the girl further down when the lines get lower, so the girl kind of like the, the halo stays stays away from the um, from the card space. And of course, there's one thing, another thing missing. Uh, I right now you can only drop things into it. Like the dropping is right right now. It's really um, rudimentary. And I want to add, like, a, of course, a keyboard way of dropping things into it. So there's like lots of things that we have planned, and it's kind of like, hmm. so we can dr mouse drop cards into Halo. That's already kind of like taken care of. Keyboard drop cards into Halo. That's something that we need to do. Um, better Halo. Vis visual loop emphasis <laughs> um, then the back side something that's something we have to care take care of right now the back side is solid but I want to make make the appearance that these are actually like pieces on on, on the on the circle um, and then oh yeah well, I guess what to do with the girl. Let's 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 try scrollable girl. <laughs> okay. The keyboard drop is not that important, I think, right now. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Good. So, how are we going to do things? question is so one question I have is whether oh I'm, get, I'm getting ideas in my head I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm, I'm, let me let me I'm, I will create a thesis in a second. Let me let me think this out real quick. Uh, this is, I want to go to the draw. So we have prep halo here. And then here we draw the halo, right? I'm thinking whether I'm thinking about whether um, 
we are going to, because now I want to have multiple copies of whatever you drop, drop into the halo, I want to create multi copies of, of it in the, in the halo. So there's like multiple copies there. And I'm, oh yeah, but um, I want to do another to-do list. Um, halo, better, halo mouse interaction. So I'm, what I'm thinking right now is, whether um, I'm, I'm trying to con control, you know, I'm basically trying to control um, what is being shown in the Halo, like where the cards appear on the Halo, and maybe there's like multiple copies of, of the cards that you put in the Halo. And I'm thinking about whether it maybe might be more interesting. Like, uh, let's say we have two copies, right? Let's say we, we put this blue thing in here and the blue thing appears and on, on the other side in the shadow area, the second thing appears and then it will just, like the two copies will just rotate uh, around. And then once you add more pieces, I just want to see maybe like one, one additional copy and then I'm going to see what, how that looks like. Um, but the question is whether I want to do this while drawing the halo here, or whether I want to do this when preparing the halo. Right now, I think I do it when I prepare the halo, right? Yeah, I use the mouse X here. And maybe that, that might be the better solution here. That way, all the scrolling is happening here in the prep halo function. And this, func this function here that deals with, you know, the 3D stuff, that it's its own thing, basically. So they're kind of like both are kind of like this disconnected. Let's try to do that. So this one is the center out halo. We're gonna have six uh, entries, and they will uh, sit six uh, items, and they are 11 pixels in width. So we're gonna have 66 or 66. That's cool. That's actually not bad because that's close to 64. So if we have two copies, um, I would basically fill out the entire width of the screen. So maybe that's good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really overthinking things right now. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I accidentally resized the window. So, oh God, man. I'm really overthinking things. That's not, not a really good stream, just watching an old guy just sing there and, uh, sit there and, and think. Uh. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, let, let's just try to do this. <clears throat> so right now I'm drawing, I'm calculating a position, and then I'm drawing these things based on this position. And then basically, so what basically we have to do is we have to do those this twice. Right? It's, it's, it's not that complicated. You just do it twice. Twice. 
see, now we have two, two shapes. Let me start adding things. Let's see how that works once, once we start adding things. Yeah, we never see the, the second shape, right? Hmm. Never, never see. Uh, see now we see the the other other loop, but yeah, it's too far away. We already, we already um, pretty far in this process. See, hey, must 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 imagery, must imagery. See, this is too far. They not do not connect, so they have to be closer together. So maybe we need to draw three of them. What if we just make one just go 64? Like, how does that look? Ah, see? This, this feels better. I could already have a second one here. But I guess we, now we would have to draw like four of them. So let's draw four. It's a bit crazy, but it's fine because if you, I found out some time ago that if you if you draw something extremely off stream, it doesn't get drawn and doesn't actually hog any resources. So you know, now we have multiple copies of the same the same piece, so we can just loop it through, right? Now, do we have anything that connects there? No, we don't. But so, but maybe you can like combine some things. Uh huh. Uh huh. See? Oh yes. Oh man, I need to get to this piece. Solitaire, am I right? Not even once. Okay, you see? Now we almost completed the, 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 the ring. Now it feels more, more correct. That actually feels good. That actually feels good, I feel. So let's do like plus 66 and minus 66. 66. Or there are 66, because I think that was the right spacing for, for an entire ring. Oh, that's 66. Hmm. 
side. I cannot use this. I can use this. Ah, what the? See, I cannot use this. I can use this, but now I use this with this. Ah, oh, but I can go like this. Oh. Uh, I need this guy or this guy. So we need this needs to go. You need to attach it to a wavy line. Maybe this little wavy line over there, but for this, this, this needs to go. Oh, <laughs> see, solitaire, I told you, it's, it's not a bad game. I mean, I could get this away, but I don't know if that's not a good idea. What do I attach on the other side? I need to attach the square. This could be this, or this could be this. Again, very, very buried. Quite buried. And I need to get two round things off this. Ah, oh, it's not good. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. I probably should, should maybe pay more attention. <laughs> I'm not really paying much, much attention. I should have paid more attention. Oh, and it doesn't work like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wavy, now I need this wavy line or this wavy line. Oof. Won't they overlap if they if we have more cards in Halo or is it just a test to see how multiple copies would look? So the idea is that um, once you finish a loop, it should disappear. That's how you get rid of the cards because you should not... like. St standard idea is that you fill it up the loop with six cards and once, this is, uh, once the loop is complete, the loop disappears and then you have to complete the next loop. Um, there is opportunity to uh, maybe add some game mechanics where you can create like a double loop uh, when you have more cards. And, but then for that, I think we will just render, render it differently. See, now, now it's just, just one gap missing. Yeah, I mean, um, in my prototype, I allowed it for two things. Like if you have exactly six cards and they create loop, it disappears. But if you drag in longer chains, you can overcome the six card limit and then you create longer loops. And uh, initially in prototype, I actually even have it so that that was kind of like I, or my intention was that it was, that was kind of like a more difficult way to complete the game because you have, create, have to create the loops on the board and not in the in the halo. Um, but but I don't know if I'm going to keep that around. I think this is it, it, to some extent it's a bit diff, more difficult if the loops disappear right away, I, I, and, and that's because like you like you remove things from the board. And then you have less pieces to work with, and sometimes you get, can get stuck if you don't have the right pieces, so they no longer connect to a loop. Which I think was not really there if you... Oh, I cannot move this away. See now, oh. oh. Ah, <laughs> that's satisfying as heck. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! No, you cannot remove the pieces once they are in the halo. That was, that's kind of like the, one of the ideas here. That final snap is pretty satisfying, yeah. Like, it's good if, if the game already feels satisfying. Like, this is, this is I, I wanted to maybe do a video on this one once because I think this is a, such a fascinating topic. Um, how do I pull it, uh, put it? Um, there's like certain like innate satisfactory things about, about like that, that motivate us when we, when we play with games. Like, like there's and I think they're quite basic they're maybe like something that it's even 
very fundamental for, for human be as, as human beings. And one is like when putting things where they belong, right? Like putting things into their place. Like, ah, this goes into here. You know that, that um, viral video with the lady that, that in, on TikTok where the lady watches somebody put like the wooden blocks into the hole and he keeps putting the wooden blocks always in the square hole because all the wooden blocks fit in the square hole. But they actually look like if they belong to the other holes. And, and she gets like very upset about it. <laughs> I feel that's, <laughs> that's very understandable, that's very human, I think. You want to see things go where they belong. Uh, and, and it's very upsetting <laughs> that's, to, to, to like see an opportunity to put something where something belongs and like not, not having it fulfilled, that, that desire. Uh, and I think with a lot of games. Uh, they just satisfy that, that stupid desire. I mean, it's such, such a baby game, right? It's like, oh, put the square thing in a square hole. But um, but it is satisfying. I mean, the games are about, you know, making, making about feeling nice, about, about having fun and, and putting things where they belong and figuring out where they belong is fun. And so that's what I, what I wanted to accomplish with this Halo, to kind of like communicate this idea that there's, a, that the, these form a loop and also have like this pleasant satisfaction of, this is the final piece, you know, and then it completes, and then it's like nice. Um, that's kind of like one of the pleasure, and so it's it's really good right now to see it, that it works. That like to f like this is the, the I, that was until now it was a theoretical because I couldn't simulate this, but seeing that it totally works, that this is totally something that works, it's, it's just like yes, this is <laughs> this is it feels very gratifying. Uh, can I can I complete this somehow? Can I do something here? Hmm. What do I need? I need square and, and flat. I could get this guy out. If I can get this away, but I can't. So flat or square or this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I can get this guy. And, uh, yeah, yeah. No, what? I need a wavy line, so this guy or this guy, they are both very buried. Extremely buried. Yeah, it's really fun to see like something that was, was theoretical becoming like real and be like, oh, it works, my plan, my plan! Oh, there we go. See, I can put it now in this gap and... Oh, oh. <laughs> it didn't work. Plop! <laughs> and what happens if I put more stuff in it? Will it just break? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't allow me to. Oh, because I don't know where to, where to attach them, right? I guess it's actually half a loop. How do you mean it's half a loop? Yeah, I definitely want to do that, want to do this next. So, um, so we already kind of have the better Halo visual. We kind of did this. Um, auto rotation is something I want to do next. That's kind of part of the better Halo mouse interaction, but our auto rotation. And the backside is, is also another tag. How, Master Majority, when you moved, you moved right then, you got a gap on the left of Halo. Did I? I have a gap? I didn't see the gap. Let me try to complete it again. Would be that would be not good.
Hmm. Like this? No, I need this piece. Ah, I cannot get this out. Okay, now the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a piece missing there. I can see it now. Yeah. But maybe we're gonna... It's not gonna be a problem. Maybe, maybe we figure, can figure it out. One thing that might be confusing, at least for the first time players, is which side of the card attaches to which side of the halo, mainly for the flat spike in wavy piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the wavy piece is, I think, clear. I think the wavy piece should be clear, right? Let me, let me think about this. Oh yeah, the wavy piece is not clear. You're right. Mm -hmm. The wavy, wavy piece is, is is unclear if, if it's if it's the positive or negative, if the female fa male or female side. So maybe we have to um, do a little alteration there. And for the flat, I probably have to redesign the wavy piece and the flat piece because they are ambiguous as to which one is the male and female. And I guess the zigzag piece as well. But yeah, let's let's just do the. I want to try to do the auto rotation. So right now the goal is I want to disentangle the <clears throat> rotation of the halo from the mouse for now, and I want to make the halo rotate constantly. That's something that I want to figure out. this let's just put this away real quick and then just call it local 64 local sx equals 64 plus t time uh, oh yes, I'm sorry. I always forget to to mention the tunes. It, it's a channel called um, Game Chops, Game Chops, uh, and they have all sorts of like uh, lo-fi <laughs> pop music remixes of video game music. This is, I think, this is the um, playlist they called Stardew and Chill. So this is a remix from Stardew Valley. Is that the idea here? Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's the idea. And also I wanted to be like time um, modulo 66. <laughs> I find it so funny that it accidentally is 66. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, that's very slow. Friggin' Palpatine. <laughs> Faster. Faster!
Ah, see? It doesn't quite... I wonder why. Oh, it's 128? It's showing me 228. 66 times 2, what is 66? What is 66 times 2? I am not even 132. Maybe something we have to do is something like, um, because right now I don't... Huh. That, that was a bit odd. That's not what, how I expected things to go. Because if I drag something in there... I have to actually think. Every time I have to want to do something, I have to think. Oh, come on, let's use that. Okay, now it worked. Uh, let me continue working on this a little bit, just to, just to make sure that it, it works as intended. Oh man, I cannot move this away? What? Why even? Really? Oh man! <laughs> it's all wavy lines. Ah, oh, come on. See, I think it moved. That's something that's that confused. Oh, of course it moved. That's something that I'm thinking about right now. So, so the problem I have now is I started building the I don't know if I want to do this. So, um, the problem I have is right now is um, I draw the 
the... I'm sorry, I have to formulate my thoughts. I, I'm drawing the, the halo in, into the sprite sheet. Uh, and it's, if I append new elements to the bottom of the, of the halo, so to speak, then it's it's fine. Nothing. There's no no movement in the halo. But when, if I append an element to the to the front, um, all the elements in the sprite sheet shift by one element because I create a new element, and that makes uh, like a jerky movement in the halo. And I don't like that. And I'm wondering if if there's something I can do about it. But sadly, I feel like it, there might not be anything I can do here. It's not just kind of like part of what it is. Man. Okay, let's let us. I'm gonna put this into like a future problem. Jerky. Halo. The easy solution would be to move the halo rotation to the left. Well, there is a truth to this where in that... Oh, I, I have an idea. I know how to do this. I'm gonna call it Halo X. <laughs> Halo X uh, equals zero. And if I drop something to the front, we're gonna advance Halo X. Haha. <laughs> This is gonna be one crazy thing. Okay, so drop. Where, where do we drop? Drop halo. Drop halo. Drop, drop halo. Okay, there we go. Drop halo. So if we are connecting from, yeah, yeah. If this is connected to the front, and we're gonna say drop halo x equals uh, plus equals. Hashtag drag times 11. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit crazy, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would work, will work. So here, here, here let, let me, let me try this now. Uh, do we have anything that connects? Okay, so this should not make a jerk now. Okay, that's good. That's what I expected. And this, this hopefully won't make a jerk. Ah, oh, it made a jerk! <sighs> I guess I have to minus. I think it was minus. No jerk. And there we go, boys. No jerk. Bam. <laughs> hey, nerdy teachers. I did not see you coming in there. I was too too busy doing crazy things. Did you did you see the progress? It's, isn't it amazing? Doesn't it look that really nice? It does. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna be the dumb one here, but what does this whole drag offset do that solves the jerk issue? Um, um, <laughs> basically, I'm, I'm drawing, I'm, I'm drawing the, the sprite in the sprite sheet, right? Just in the sprite. Not, don't think about Halo. Just think about the sprite sheet. I'm drawing the, the the contents of the Halo, like one piece after another, right? And 
And it starts at zero somewhere, no, that's not on your side. It starts at zero somewhere and then you add more bands. So the first element, second, third, and fourth. If you add elements on the, on the end of the halo, the visually, you just add el more elements to the sides, but it doesn't, doesn't, the entire halo line in the spreadsheet doesn't move. But if you add something to the front of the halo line, then everything shifts by one block because you added a new element and now the, there is a new first element. The previous first element becomes the second element. And that's how you get the jerk, right? You just, everything jumps by one piece because you added a piece in the front. Um, so every time I add something in the front, I also start drawing it a bit further to the, to the, to the right. And so that kind of like counteracts the jerk. Hey, Synogia! Synjonia. Synjonia? Synjonia. Okay, so this worked. I'm, we're doing some tremendous progress. This is actually, this part that we're doing right here is the one that caused me the most headaches uh, or, or belly aches. So I'm blown away that this works. Let's do the backside next. I want to do the backside next. Oh, by the way, what is our performance looking like? Oops. I haven't do like any performance testing. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh yeah, that's gonna be particular particle, particle effects. The only problem is like when you have white background, you cannot have like glowing particle effects. You have to have like, like, like you cannot have something that's really nice and contrasty. Everything has to be like um, darker. But yeah, we're gonna get to that problem when we get to that problem. Okay, so here's the background drawing. This is the background drawing. But right now we're just drawing a line. And so what I thought. It's actually not drawing a line, but doing another SSPR from uh, from the sprite sheet, but drawing it in, in the background and mirrored. And that should get us backside, and then we do like a, a PAL manipulation kind of thing. Okay, so this is the source, right? So we're gonna go with 64, no, no, wait, wait, wait. 127 minus. Uh, then drawing this. This is the height from the source. That's okay. Then this is the destination. Uh, I is fine, but this is wrong. We said it was kind of something like this. like 88 something like this uh, now we can have a new width and new height the uh, what was the height oh just like four yeah let's keep both around we, we're gonna see if there's a difference see uh, yeah, we have to think about how to do, deal with that. That's something we're gonna have to deal with in a second. That's already looking good. for some reason. I don't understand how. Oh, she. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 
Um, the only problem is they... Hmm. I'm thinking how to solve that. Yeah, it's very satisfying, I agree, yeah. Just really oddly satisfying. Yeah, especially with that music, right? It's, 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 it feels very chill. But now we don't need that line anymore. The only problem is like now the, the things disappear. Why do they disappear? Why do they disappear? Oh, oh, okay. They disappear because the spacing is not quite correct, right? Technically. Yeah, there should be one coming in exactly when one disappears and that's not what happened, what's happening. So the spacing is wrong. But we cannot really modify the spacing. Oh man, this is, this is, this is a headache inducing kind of situation right now. When you draw the head using vectors, will that impact the performance much? Maybe the bitmap will be more efficient. Yeah, 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 probably will um, in, will be less efficient. But again, we have enough head space. We have, we have um, plenty of space. I mean, when push comes to shove, I can just not draw it. Hmm. Let me think about this. This is the source, right? So I'm gonna do an, a bit of a calculation here. calculate how far we are in this process. This is just this is just not some some math shenanigans that I that is just a bit so let's go shad x times how does that look? Better, better. Slightly better. When you draw the head using vectors, will that impact the, uh, okay, that'd be already really good head. I'm sorry, <laughs> just like making sure that I'm keeping current on the text. Man, I think, I think we need to mess around with the X coordinates as well. Let's do the PAL statements. That's, that will maybe help us a little bit along. So, how, how, there was a way of, of like dropping an entire array into the, the PAL statement, right? How did, how did that work? Yeah, you just drop an entire... Yeah, okay, so...
Let's reset the palette here. And then I'm just gonna go 15, right? 15, 15. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is gonna be really efficient about this. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 16. Yeah. Again. See, uh, Solitaire is kind of interesting kind of game because right now, for example, it seemed like the board was unsolvable. It was probably solvable, but I started with the wrong piece. So it's very easy to make a like an obvious move and then put yourself in a position where the puzzle is no longer solvable, but it's like the entire puzzle is solvable. You just made a mistake along the way that you didn't see, uh, you didn't identify as a mistake. And um, I probably want to have like an undo function. But one of the reasons I, um, that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to have um, not an undo, but uh, like um, history. So you can go back to previous puzzles that you weren't able to solve and uh, try different approaches. No, I don't want to remove things from the, from the halo. I think that's... Because when you start removing, uh, be able to remove pieces from the halo, then the halo becomes just another staple to work with, and that makes the puzzle really, really easy to solve. Um, so I, I want to, and, and there's like, there's already baked into the system. There's already multiple places where things are not reversible. For example, um, we have something on the board right now. We don't. Let me let me show you something. And this, this is like some solitaire theory. So if I take this piece here and I put it in here, they will snap together, right? But I, I cannot then remove it and put it back here. That's not possible because those don't, don't put together. So this is kind of like an irreversible move when I do it like this, right? Um, so that's, this, so th there's like already irreversible moves built into solitaire. And so putting something in here is just another irreversible move. Um, I will probably add an undo. Uh, I don't know how many layers, um, but also like I think the important piece will be just to be able to restart uh, and, and just try a different approach. Oh man, this is this bugs me a little bit. So I guess in order for the halo to be really good we will have to manipulate the X position a little bit. Uh, does the puzzle always have a solution? Um, the real Dawn Reaver. Uh, it, it, most of the time it does. There is probably some setups. I, I did some testing. There are some situations where the puzzle, where it generates a board state that doesn't have a solution. Or, um, And again, that's also a little bit part of solitaire, but like in terms of the kind of solitaires I'm, I did the research for this is actually pretty lenient like the solutions are actually pretty good I'm thinking how to how to make it so that it um, so it's optically correct
So in the center, hmm. uh, I okay. So in order to, for this to work, I would have to ma manipulate the eye. So when I'm in the center, it should be kind of. What if I if I just, I mean. What's the worst that can happen? Let's just try this. Ah, see, that's the problem. Now it looks more correct, the halo. But now everything is a bit squashed. Probably have to do some 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 some. I, I I will I probably will just sit down and do some some math on paper to figure this out because this is this is something that really bugs me. I really want to make it so that um, that the at the corners it looks correct. Right now it looks like like the piece disappears and then reappears again on the back on the flip side and I want the the flip to be happening to be looking more natural, but you know what I'm fine with what we're here so far. This is a, this is a good, this is a good, um, this is a nice looking halo. It definitely is a, one hell of a centerpiece of the, for this game. So maybe we're gonna concentrate on something else for now. More, more accurate backside. Okay, so now next step up in the to-do list, we have better halo mouse inter in interaction. Oh, by the way, also another thing we have to also looking um, halo completion is also something we have to do. What do we want to do with a better mouse halo interaction? So, okay, yes. Mm. Maybe let's do the scroll builder first. I think that will clarify what kind of interaction we want to have with the halo. Let's do the scroll builder. So right now we're drawing the halo always at the same position, right? Prep halo we don't have to touch. It's, it's just this part here that we have to deal with. So we have Halo X, let's do also a Halo Y. And let's draw the girl depending on, on where the Halo Y is. Let's do Halo Y, let's set it to where the actual Halo should appear. Uh, what did we have until now? Um, we have this. Uh, 84 was our current value, I think. 84 plus help, okay, good. So we'll put it, let's, let's put it 84 Halo Y and replace the 84 with this. No, it was 80, it was not 84. Halo Y plus four plus. Uh, Draw the girl. This is the girl, right? Yeah. 
Oh, it's also at 80, so so we can just do it in Halo Y. Interesting. Okay, um, and so now technically Now technically we can move the halo with with the scrolling, right? Did we did we someone to remove the scrolling? We do something to remove the scrolling, or is it just like? Did we just never encounter a situation where we have scrolling? But let's build a build. Uh, let's build a big uh, long. Ah. Ah. Uh. Where's wavy lines on, on top? Connect. This doesn't connect. Let's get rid of this. Where's the wavy? Oh, oh, oh! We have built a wavy in here, and the yellow wavy is up here. So we cannot get rid of this guy. Ah, oh, I made a mistake, Rooney. Oh, it's okay. You can see that we cannot actually scroll here. So why? 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 Wherefore? Should be an update function, right? Did we disable this somehow? Yeah. We should have. Yeah. Huh. So right now it's 61, right? Should we should we bring it back? Should we bring back the old level generation? Seven, 76? 76. That doesn't look like 76. That looks like more. What did I, how did I calculate this? maximum column height. That's something we are somewhere calculating. Ah, they're here. Maximum. Ma ma oh, okay. We calcul calculate before we do this. Okay.
Getting somewhere. Huh? We broke something <laughs> in a very interesting way. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That's odd. Going, it should be opposite. Going down should should make it scroll up. I think we 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 broke the scrolling somehow. I just got received news that we might be able to stream longer today. The almighty gear looking at down up, upon us mere mortals playing the game. That's right. I think it's... it's I don't, what? Here. I don't... It worked previously, that's why I'm so, so confused. Ah, wait, wait, wait. If not mouse mode. Well, that's mouse mode. Okay, wait. So what happens if we do do this like this? See, this scrolls correctly. This, this scrolls down. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you got something wrong. Uh. Minus thirty two, yeah, yeah. Let's go eighty this time around. Yeah, now it works. Huh? And if I put 96 in here, it doesn't work? Yeah, oh wow, it reverses. Because, because it got multiplied by a negative number. What? But it's, yeah, because it's 87. Interesting. Yeah, so because now I can basically scroll by seven, seven, uh, seven pixels, which is not much. Draw the girl now further down, um, so it, she, she kind of scrolls with the rest. Uh, draw. 
oh, we want to go to no, we want to go to update. Yeah, this, this is something we want to do. Well, actually, well, actually, probably we don't need to do anything. She should be scrolling, but she's not. Um, I think that's because of the way we draw this. Yeah, we draw it before the camera. So let's draw it after the camera. See, now, now we're scrolling with, with everything. Okay, that's good. But she's too far up. I'm surprised. She's at 87. That seems correct, but it seems like the... The calculation for the height is, is wrong. The max call height is, is something that I think we're calculating wrong. But we already added the 11 to it, so that's why I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Scrolling by six pixels, basically, because we we are seven pixels because we're seven pixels above above eighty. But we feel, feel I'm not sure if we're... okay. Let me just like just to me to make sure because I'm just like uh, I'm really confused. Let's draw a line. This is going swimmingly after like these complicated things. I'm just. Like, <laughs> Stuck with this, this stupid problem here. Um, but yeah, that's good. That's good. It's good that we're tackling this finally. Okay. Okay. I, I see now the problem. This doesn't seem correct. Does the height count in the space between the cards? Yes, it does. It, it's literally where the card is being drawn. That's why I'm so surprised. Let's just like add some leeway, just add 20. Mm. Well, now I can scroll further down. Okay, I guess I have to draw the girl further down now. Let's draw it at her at 100. doesn't seem to be further down. Did I reset the halo Y somewhere? Oh yeah, I do reset the halo Y somewhere. Okay, so now she's, she's further down. Okay, got it. Okay, she's further down. funky <laughs> Ooh. funky yeah, I know what the problem is but it looks cool um, yeah let's let's go with 90 also in the draw function we do the CLS CLS is the problem. Uh, well, whatever. Just draw the CLS here. It's fine. Mm. 
Oh, it st still doesn't work? What? I thought that was the problem. That's interesting. Whoa, it's full it's fully broken. Oh what? Does the camera apply? Oh the camera applies to oh <laughs> that's so silly. Okay, let's do the prep halo before the halo the camera. <laughs> that's, that's so silly. But okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, it seems like it should be further down. The halo should be a bit further down. Let's go 95. Mm, I think it should be at 100. Well, the thing is it shouldn't be at 100, right? It should be at 100 in this situation. Like this looks good now, right? So it's 100 if it's at 96, okay? So... So let's go Halo Y equals 96, so... so, so plus 16, right? Something like this. And otherwise halo y equals 80. And that's too far down. See now, now she recedes into the distance a little bit, but 16 might be a bit too much. Let's go, let's go plus six. Yeah, yeah. This this looks good now. So she, she she's now here. Does the height count? Yeah. Okay. Um, something to, uh, but it disappeared oh I think it oh no I think I know what the problem is and I don't like it It's very choppy, the movement of the of the girl is choppy, it should be a bit more fluid. I'm gonna deal with that in a second. Hmm. <laughs> this go should go here and this should go here. Which one, which one do we need to get rid of? What do we want? We want the wavy line at the bottom that's here, 
or here. Both of these are inaccessible very far down the line. Or we, a straight edge on the top. That could be this guy or this guy. So we need to get rid of this guy. Math will do, or will def. Uh, wow, so much progress since the last stream I checked. The head halo and animation looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Um, I, I do like the, the animation here. It's, there's still some things we need to figure out, but, but yeah, yeah, we're making definitely some progress. Okay, um, so yeah, this looks good, like, right? This is, this is a good setup here. It seems like, like the, um, the girl has the right distance from the top if, if we get really high uh, lines. So now, right now, what I want to do is just animate the, the, um, the halo. Is the goal of the game to complete the halo by matching shapes? Yes. Uh, technically, you have to build three halos to, to get rid of all of the shapes. So once you complete the halo, it, I don't know, maybe we send it, spin it up and make it like, or like it maybe collapse into like a little ball and also start flying around her head as well. And then you have to have three to complete the, the, the level. The two blue next to each other isn't supposed to happen in the halo, right? Did we have two blue next to each other? Oh, I didn't see that. Did we have two blue next to each other? Well, maybe we had because we dragged too much stuff inside. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, you're completely right in that we... Um, we haven't... Um, we are not checking for complete loops yet. So you can drag whatever... Uh, like it only checks if if there is a piece that attaches to the top or bottom, but if there if you put in your final piece, it doesn't check if it connects to the bottom and to the top. Um, so you could like your last piece can be theoretically mismatching right now, but that's something that we're gonna deal with in a second uh, in, in, in in the future. Right now, I want to do this here. So we're gonna do like something halo y equals halo dy minus halo y plus. Um, divide by four or something. It's a, a bit too quick, I think. It's a bit too hectic. Go really soft. seems more like it. Do -de -do -de -do. Hmm, interesting. This looks like as if I'm putting this into the halo, but I'm not. Maybe the distance to 
should be should be larger. Huh, interesting. No, okay, I thought for a second. Uh, I thought for a second we made a mister mistake a Rooney Dooney, but we didn't. Um I feel like we're stuck already. This can't move, this can't move. Maybe some kind of highlight on a halo where you are about to drop items so you can confuse it with long columns. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely will do that. We don't, we are, the way I want to do is like, um, the halo rotates when you're interacting with the, the stuff on top here. Oh, interesting. Why did it move up? It moved up. Can add column f to column two this? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, thank you so much. Um, but. Um, ah, see, now, now there was like a little jerk and now... Now this thing disappeared. Did you see that? It disappeared. Odd, huh? Yeah, and then we're gonna have to, have to figure this out. Uh, so far, it seems like when we're dropping two things into the um, into the halo that are in the front, that's that's something that that uh, looks weird. See, like this, that didn't work. It just, it's just not being drawn at all. And I wonder if this is a tech, is if, hmm. I wonder if this is a, a visual problem or if it's a conceptual problem. Like are these things still in the, Halo, but are not being drawn, or is this a situation where it's just like might be a problem with Halo X? No. 
Seems like maybe like a conceptual problem. Like it doesn't actually drag them in there. some debug information, let's see how we can fix this somehow. to have a function to delete, just destroy a card. What did, did, did the music stop? maybe I need okay if I can get this connected to a wavy line I can do that oh, man. come on okay okay yeah so it didn't add anything right I know why I know why uh, because we're deleting things from the drag. And as we're deleting them, it should that del delete at least once. That's, that's weird. Oh yeah, minus one. <laughs> it's a minus one. Ah! Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> ah, those bugs. Yeah, okay. Man. Then we don't need this probably anymore. I mean, I, I can keep it up now. Nah, I'm not gonna keep it up, it's fine. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo. Okay, so now, yeah, it doesn't auto take backwards and forwards. Yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. It's it's what it is. So now let us delete this. We don't need this anymore. We kind of. Okay, when I draw a drag somewhere, I want the drag to be. I want to be using Halo Y. No. 
no, 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 where is it? Uh, mouse position. It's not quite where we are here. No. I'm gonna mark this. Um, yeah, so if mouse y equals greater than a halo y. Minus scroll, right? something that actually connects. Yeah. But now, of course, for example, attaching something here might be difficult now. I'm gonna accidentally drop it into the halo. And watch, which is why I think we need to really communicate very clearly. This now we can't. Oh, it's okay. There's there's quite some leniency. Yeah, okay, good. That halo effect is still so cool to look at. Yeah, I agree. It's it's really fun. Good morning, Gamma Volantis. I don't think we need this debug anymore. Yeah, I mean, we're getting here. We're, we're getting there. I mean, I think this is this is, this is starting to work as intended. Um, I want to maybe have some animate. Yeah, there's some animation stuff that we need to figure out. Um, oh yeah, by the way, that may be something I wanted to do. Hmm. So yeah, let me let me think about this. Mm. Will there be an outlined halo before you insert cards to show where it is? I mean, like a preview of where the card, how the how the halo will look before uh, after you drop it. I'm I'm thinking of how I have to some, somehow indicate that I'm hovering over the halo. And I am thinking how to do that. Um, scrollable girl is kind of. We have a first scrollable ver girl version. We're gonna have to think about where, how, it, how we can maybe improve it later on. Better halo mouse in interaction. Yeah, that's something that we are working on right now. Uh, well, I guess Halo completion is also part of the Halo. Um, keyboard drop cards into Halo. Better Halo. Okay, so I want to have some kind of mouse over effect. When I mouse over the Halo, I want to, the Halo to maybe stop rotating. Let's, let's start with that and then, then we're gonna see later what else we can do. So this is draw, right? It's actually draw interaction. Draw. <laughs> oh man, sometimes it's just like um, prep halo. Uh, should we? No, well, it's okay. We, just, we can just do it in here. Um, okay, so this is. If um, okay, 
Um, and so this is going to be rotating halo. If um, if um, drag is not not equals no and Oh, uh, if, if drag equals nil. Or, huh, if not. Drag is not equals nil. And. I'm not sure if talk about pre-card halo rendering yet. It's a good catch. Pre-card halo rendering. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, probably we're gonna need like some kind of little dots um, so you see something. Oh no, my camera is running out of, I don't know how to solve that problem now. <laughs> my my ca camera is running out of juice. I have to maybe turn off the, the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. It will turn off eventually. <laughs> that, solve, that problem will solve itself eventually. I won't be, you won't be able to see me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still figuring out how the camera works. Apparently, apparently the way this camera works is uh, it's like a standalone kind of... Um, it, it is an, a DSLR camera, but it's apparently when it's connected to the PC, it's... and it's turned on, it's not getting the juice from the PC. You have to. It's it's getting the juice from the from the from the battery. You have to. <laughs> VTuber. <-y. laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna use the girl as a, as my avatar. <laughs> um, you have to use. Um, it, so you charge the batteries by turning camera off and then attaching it to PC. Then it charges. Um, which is very, very uh, bad, obviously, and I, uh, it's, it's kind of a huge bummer because I thought I could run the camera uh, over, um, yeah, just from the from the from the USB, um, which is bad. But uh, I wonder if this is another like USB power delivery kind of thing, where it's like it's getting the power, but it's not enough to charge the, the battery or something like this. I, I I don't know. I don't know how that how that works. I have to do some experiments. On the other hand, do I even have something that does kind of power delivery kind of juice? But but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't I, how do, how does USB C work? Nobody knows. Well, we're gonna wait until it runs dry and then I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, so right now I wanna see if this works. See, now it stops rotating. Maybe. I don't know, I don't like how it snaps. Hey, Ludicultur! How are you doing? Uh, so, what do we want to do? Maybe we want to like basically call it Halo R, right? Halo DR. 
rotation basically. There's so many variables we have to deal with. That's crazy. Uh, and then when we draw, and so that's not going to be SX, but it's going to be Halo R, Halo DR. And then Halo Probably more Halos in the code than there are Halo games now. <laughs> Possible. Uh, oh man. Talking about about Halo. How bad was that TV series? That's that's something that was so incredibly disappointing. Such high production values, but such a bad TV series. Oh my gosh. I rarely, I rarely stop watching a TV series mid-season, but now it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not finishing that season. It's insufferable. Oh, but actually, this might, <laughs> this might actually cause some troubles. <laughs> it's gonna be some interesting troubles. I, I, I'm looking forward to see what that what that happens. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Look at this. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we we're using now Halo R instead of SX. Look at this. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> It's cool, but not necessarily what I wanted. Yeah, see, I wanted to, yeah, th th this reaction is correct. This is not correct. You like the TV series. I I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. It's, you know, everybody. I mean, there's definitely, it was, the production values were incredible in that series, don't get me wrong. So if you ever want to have, to see what Halo would look like in real life, that was definitely the place to go. Okay. E easy. It's, it's easy. This, this should solve the problem. Yeah, so now it's like rotating like this. And anyway, I want to drag something over it, it's, it's, it snaps into place. Uh, I don't like, uh, it would be nice if we could just con continue turning. Can we con continue turning? Oh man, it would be nice if it could continue turning. Oh man. Oh, the oh there we go. There we go. It's over, guys. It's, it, I'm glad it, it beeped at me at least. Huh. I'm, I'm trying to debug my, 
my camera right now because it, hmm, I don't know, uh, whatever, I'm gonna figure it out later. Um, yeah, so how I'm gonna, uh, uh, can we try to, can we try to do like the girl, the girl Halo as a, as a, as a VTuber? Sponsored by, by Lumix, who <laughs> just gave, uh, build better cameras, Lumix. And sponsor me, I, I would be, I would be fine with that. Let's replace it, uh, the ho horrible commercial with a nice VTuber gif. Spontaneously. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a GIF. Okay, eight seconds. Okay, that's good. Can can we have? I hope I can have an animated GIF as a, as a source here. That would be so nice. Add image. I'll be right with I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Don't 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 despair. Oh yes. <laughs> this is so good. Oh yeah. VTuber confirmed. Causing me a lot of joy. Beautiful. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> Camera came back. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we have to debug the camera situation. Again, one of those myriad little streaming things that you have to figure out. But now, something that we have to figure out is how. Ban hammer the camera. <laughs> uh, oh man, it's, it's yeah. It would be nice if if the rotation was not something that you'd calculate from the time, but something that you just add every frame. Right? That's that's the idea here. Yeah, um, I that's I used the, the um, dummy battery adapter um, previously. Um, but the reason why I got this new camera is because I heard it has a USB connector, so I don't need that dummy battery adapter because that was a very annoying adapter. And I would love to have as little cables as possible on my, on my, on my uh, table, so just adding another cumbersome adapter. Because it's like it's like the, one of the worst adapters, it's like this really clunky plug that you put inside your camera and then it goes through multiple barrel connectors to like a, a external, um, like a, what, what do you call it, no, like, like a little box that generates the, the, the electricity and then it plugs into your plug. So it's like this very cumbersome thing. It's not just like a cable, but it's like this, this whole clunky thing that is on your table and it connects to your camera in this awkward way. On my old camera, you couldn't even eject the connector without unscrewing the camera from the, from the mount. So it was like this, ah, uh, it was just like annoying. And it also, it failed on me once. So that was even more annoying. So I was hoping I could just like plug it in with USB and just like run it like this and apparently maybe not. Is there a, a setting maybe for the USB connection like on the phones? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I have to research this, I don't know. There's there's also, I just there's like a light on top of the camera, now it's solid red, but sometimes it's also red blinking, and I don't know what the red blinking means. Maybe that was the problem. Yeah. Okay, never mind. So, what are we trying to do here? We are trying to add something every frame, basically, right? That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't see my face. Um, do, do, do I have? I, mean, I don't. I don't have a webcam or anything. I just, just like the camera. I'm sorry, the camera. Uh, it's it's really. Uh, I will next time. I, I will pay more attention to this kind of stuff. But it was weird because yesterday I was everything was fine, and then today I, I turn on the camera and suddenly I see that the battery is drained. I don't know why. Okay, so. Okay, so the problem here is that we have like kind of like a starting position. And we're adding something. And it kind of stops. And what we want is to continue rotating. Right? So how about <laughs> Hello T uh, like this? Oh, the music stopped. Everything is stopping. Everybody betrayed me. Oh no, it's good. Get some more Zelda in here. Um, so instead of a time, we're going to use the Halo T. We're going to set it to zero. Halo T plus plus equals one. Does, does that work? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's faster. I think it's twice as fast now. That's better. Ah. Oh. I mean, if, if push comes to shove, if this is this, the problem with the battery is something that prevails, and I will probably get the adapter. Um, I mean, I don't have to. I can probably most of the time I can just use the battery, and then when I, whenever I need the battery runs dry, I can switch to the adapter. It's just um, yeah, I just didn't know about that. Ah. Oh yeah, now it did the little jerk movement because it reset the position right when I when I dropped it off, right? Could the speed of the halo change as you're near Yeah, maybe, maybe. Could speed it up. But that's like little details. We're gonna think about that later on. I just wanna have the like the basic functionality done first. Um Oh, the interaction with the Halo starts getting really nice and polished. Like the, there's lots of little details that I really enjoy here. Now, now, now would be, for example, now something that would be nice is that if you know the gap, like like if I drag it here, now it looks like if I'm attaching to the front. Like if I go to the left, it, it would like show me different parts of the Halo, kind of like to show me where I'm attaching things to. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't know if I can pull it off though. Huh. And definitely want to have like, to maybe spin it up when it's finished. So, so we have like a little bit of a, or maybe get like shrink into a little ball or something. I don't know. It's, we have to, we have to think of something cool, really cool there. Hmm. Hmm. 
uh, we, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out exactly where the halo stops when when we drag it into the. Because I think right now it stops at a bit of a weird position. But it's something we're gonna have to uh, do later on. Uh, right now I just want to have like, some kind of indication that we are interacting with the halo. And that was already good enough. See, this little one pixel, that's not good. That The one little pixel, that, that's something that we have to take in. Why is it there all of a sudden? It was on the bottom previously, but now it's here. That's odd. Is it a, um, I wonder. Uh, what I want, I'm looking for now is the X position of the halo. Let me look for this real quick, draw. Uh, here, that was no shed X, halo Y. Sorry, I'm really like t getting lost in those little details right now, but uh, yeah, I'm just like, just trying out different things right now. Just, you know, and pursuing things that, that strike me. Maybe the halo shrinks down uh, to fit the um, to on the girl's head, and she opens her eyes. Maybe, although I um, I think that would be make sense at the end of the level, because remember you will have to build three halos to complete a level. Oh man, I should have put it, see, I should have put it here. Then I could have put this here. Oh, I guess I can do it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh... Great, another wavy line that I don't need. <laughs> We don't, we know, but but it's like, I hate that little pip. Could you show the color palette you're using? I missed it, sorry. Oh, uh, I am not using any color palette. I'm just using this. Uh, I switched out some of the colors. Um, against the alternatives from, from the alternate color palette. Let me see. Uh, it's in, probably in a draw function, the main draw function, right? It's here. Yeah, this is the, but this is like a quick and quick and dirty solution right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, do a more thorough investigation when I decide which colors to use. But I think it's, it's like the dark green. Uh, it's the, the darker standard blue. It's um, kind of like the, the orange, it's a dark orange color and uh, the a very very dark green for um the outlines of the girl in in the in the color in the start screen 
like uh, this this uh, this dark, very dark green. Okay. So we kind of have the better Halo mouse interaction, right? So let us make sure that we can drop the cards into the Halo using the the keyboard because that's currently not possible, right? I cannot drop the cards here. Oh, interesting. The girl only zoomed down when I used the mouse. Why though? See, now it, she, she zoomed, scrolled down. But here it, she, she's um, too far, far up. So maybe I think it's the update function here. I think that's the way we do this, it's not good. Yeah, because this is only, wait, it's not mouse mode. Okay, this is just for the mouse mode. Somehow I do this only. Here, but it shouldn't. Ah, see? Ah, because I have the same version of it. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So there's actually two versions of this. Yeah, the scrolling works differently. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea is that the scrolling works differently when, when I'm using the mouse and when I'm using the keyboard, which makes kind of sense. So let's, let's just keep this around. And, and do this, this separately. If the scroll equals zero, then Something like this. I feel like we can have all of this a lot easier. Yeah, the Cuber. How are you doing? Oh, that's weird. How did that happen? Oh, oh, I see, I see the problem. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, okay, no, no, I don't understand. Yeah, I feel like this should be with keyboards only yeah it works okay so what I want to do, be able to do now is I want to be able to drag them down and I can't I can't dee, 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 is not equals nil if 
then Oh, it's wait, I, I said the stream information to day four evening, but it's wrong, it's day five. Oh my gosh, I, everything is see oh everything's so precarious. Um so if we pre oh, what? Oh we already have a down. Oh we had a down here. Okay, never mind. If cell y is smaller than zero, then and drag is not equals nil, then Yeah, I already did an introduction of what the game is supposed to be, um, but uh, just for you. So this is a bit of solitaire game where you can have like these shapes and they connect like puzzle pieces. Um, but you can also drop them into this halo around the girl and the goal is to complete the halo or at least complete the halo three times. And, you know, regular solitaire rules apply. You have to alternate the colors. And um, you can drag like an entire row of, of cards if they're connected. But uh, every time you draw them to a destination, they have to, they have to connect. So I cannot move them here because they don't connect. So I, they, I cannot move them there. And same with... Uh, with the uh, with a halo, right? I have to I have to actually drag them in here. Um, it's like a matching game, yeah, like like solitaire. Yeah. See, I'm, now I'm stuck here, right? Am I stuck here? No, I'm not. Never give up, never surrender. See, this would be technically, and there's a little bug here, but this would be completed halo, the halo would disappear. And then uh, you could do another halo and you, and you complete three halos and you complete a level. A uh, bit of topic, I only, I really only dabble in coding, nothing like on this level is very impressive. Uh, whenever I save progress, I always save with an incremental name, e.g. is game one, game one, part one, one to two. So everything I do, that may ruin my code can be undone. Is this common practice? Only problem is I end up with hundreds of different files. Just wonder what about other folks do. Uh, so yeah, this is um, this is a common problem that a lot of people, the pro programmers, are dealing with. But usually, the way you approach this is using something like a version control system. Um, a version control system is the general term. Uh, something like uh, Git. And yeah, the, Git is is not it's not very user friendly. So if you're a beginner, this this might be this might be uh, this might be quite overwhelming. Um, but it might be worthwhile getting into Git if you're really worried about um, you destroying something. Uh, another solution that might also work is uh, saving things in the Dropbox, because I believe in a Dropbox you can. Um, like restore a previous version from a previous day. Um, so that might be like a low-fi solution for this or like Dropbox or any kind of like cloud storing service. Usually they have some kind of like, you know, re restore the version of this file as it was yesterday because today I made a mistake. Um, that's okay. I think, I mean, when you're beginning, it might, might be okay just saving game one, game two, game three, and so forth. But um, like it depends. Like in Pico 8, you can make it work, I think. In uh, something like Unity, for example, that wouldn't be possible because 
for uh, for Unity, your diver the game that you're working on is not just one file, but like an entire folder structure. So it's impractical to create a, <laughs> duplicate the entire folder structure. <laughs> Gilbert is like always oh, a contra contrarian, likes the Halo series and likes Git. <laughs> I mean, you can say about what I, I agree. Git is good, and it's good to understand how Git works, and it's good that, that it is that there is this practice, there is this system. But Git is not user friendly. You cannot deny that it's not user friendly. Oh yeah, the GitHub Desktop might be actually pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Like GitHub Desktop might be a good way of of interacting with Git. Git using Git using the command line interface is crazy, but there is actually there's there's good tools like um, GUIs for that, and GitHub Desktop might be actually a good one for this. Oh. Okay, so where were we? We are trying to to put things into the Halo using the keyboard, right? So if you're pressing down and uh, and we went off screen basically and we have something in our in our we are about to drag something in uh, then we should be able to put the mouse kind of like should we hmm, let's call it cell x equals five what I'm thinking here. Now this will get picked up by this guy, right? So maybe Selex might not be... Whatever, we can create new, 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 new variable called... Cell... Cell H, cell halo equals false. <laughs> I just, uh, I, it's probably not necessary. You could have done it without the extra uh, variable, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it makes sense to, to maybe make it like this. So we're gonna go cell H equals true. And then if we press up, Cell H equals false. If cell H equals F cell H, then cell Y equals one. Cell H equals false. Actually, let's let's make it like this. Let's sell H and then and then we're gonna do all those tests again. So if we are there, we press up. Or this, or this, then cell H equals false. I think that might be better.
Laurel. Okay, so there's a lot of talk about um, about Git. I only know how to Git clone. Okay. <laughs> Did Git remote add? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've I've seen that that pixel. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm I'm worrying enough about that one pixel. I will fix it. Don't worry. Once you go CLI, you never go back. Well, uh, once you go CLI, there you are. <laughs> See, doing CLI. Uh, I'm probably the only guy in my country who has ever opens the command line. Lmao. Lol, use Linux for almost like a decade. It's hard to imagine not opening CLI ever. Yeah, yeah, I guess, sure. Um, okay, it's great on Linux. Any problem? Uh, no problem. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, so now uh, what I want to do is... Oh, right, I didn't press down because I did, wasn't dragging anything. So let's pick something up. So technically I'm now in, in... yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that worked. Okay, so how are we going to do... So this is mouse buttons, calculate mouse position, calculate max column, animating cards. Uh, what is this? Moving, moving, drag cards. Don't need this. Moving, uh, Halo slash girl. Let's, go, let's just call it Halo for now. Um, what is this? What is what is happening here? Calculating. Let's let's maybe let's call it cursor. Yeah, cursor process. So if we're not in mouse mode. gonna do like if um, cell H then else Y is gonna be, I guess, Halo DI, DY. Uh, Halo DY and yeah, let's try that. Now we cannot drop it, but, but yeah, that, that, that's the idea here, right? Okay, let's make it so we can drop it. Start drag, um, drop drag. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go if, cell H, then else, drop drag, so Y. Um, and we're gonna call it drop halo, right? So H equals five. Uh, 
I'm supposed to have class right now, but the professor isn't here. Oh no. Maybe he's also watching the stream. <laughs> oh, by the way, I want to see my... So very soon, my wife is coming, come, coming to come back. And so I want to see how far she's... Because she just sort of wrote me a message that she will pick up my, uh, my, my daughter from, from kindergarten. Oh, I think they just arrived. Funny. Yeah, yeah, they just arrived. They're just right in front of my my door. Okay, guys. So this is gonna be it for for this stream. As I said, probably not gonna be in uh, a stream in the evening. I will see about the stream in the evening. If there's gonna be any changes, I will post it definitely in the Discord. Um, we are still working on keyboard drop cards in the Halo right now. So this is going to be uh, something that we deal uh, If there's going to be a screen evening, I will let you know uh, this evening or we're going to deal with this tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for uh, joining me on the stream. Sorry that the camera died. I will pay more attention in the future. Uh, I am excited. This, this, this stream has been a huge relief because um, we made huge progress and, and the, the Halo interaction and the scrolling thing works better than I expected. So I kind of like, I feel like this game is on a, on a, on a, on a good trajectory. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. See you next time around. Bye-bye.